Aizgriezties. Mums ir demo. Aizgriezties. Got you. Aina vai? Pēc iziet. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Nakakapagod. Actually, weird nga eh. Kasi dati, mas maraya pa akong ganap. Pero, di naman ako ganito kapagod. Anong nangyari? Our generation is very driven. So this is good, especially that we are longing for good change to happen, not just in our lives, but also, or especially, for our nation. And I think dito rooted yung hustle culture ng generation natin. Now, what is hustle culture? Ito yung culture na everyone is hustling, like everyone is working so hard to achieve certain goals. So maybe some they would opt to invest on like a business or some would um, learn about stocks or real estate. Some would just really work hard in their studies and hopefully become a doctor or a lawyer, just those type of things. So we are a generation who works really, really hard for something that we need or we want. And it's not like, it's not a bad thing, you know? It's actually something that is really, really good. However, because of that, our generation also has a tendency to be really, really burned out at the end of the day because we forget to rest. Rest. What is rest? Or how do you rest? Do you sleep, eat, socialize, isolate? What do you do? to rest and are those ways effective for you like pag nagawa mo na ba lahat ng bagay na yon do you actually feel like you've rested or do you feel like parang pagod ka pa rin especially in this online class era why does it seem like parang nangangapa tayo sa pagpapahinga ngayon na ba tayo na pagod Hi, I'm Yel, and I make music and lifestyle videos here on YouTube with the hope to bring a little bit of sunshine to your days. If you want to check out what I do, you may check out my channel, my videos, or you may also check out my social media accounts, which are all linked in the description box below. Hope to see you guys there. Now take this with a grain of salt, but what if back nung face-to-face -face classes pa, we weren't actually resting? Like, what if we were just distracting ourselves with what the world had to offer to not feel the emotions that we were initially feeling? For example, stressed ka sa akads or you feel very disappointed or frustrated. And then like after you hang out with friends, parang like during the hangout, parang wala lang lahat yon. But like at the end of the day, you will still feel those emotions. But since we are tired, due to all the shenanigans that we did throughout the day, we just slept. And then we just repeat that the day after. So what if, because of that pattern during the face-to-face -face classes, we felt less tired? Like it was just all an illusion. And now that the world has shut down and we are almost like forced indoors and we are left with limited options of distractions, we kind of are left with ourselves and we have to deal with ourselves. So, we now feel our emotions more than ever before. Okay, so hindi ko naman i-end yung video na to on that note, no? So, let's talk about how to deal with it and how do we actually rest. Now, this question has a lot of answers. You guys can Google it. There are different types of rests and different types of weariness. But... I listed three ways that worked for me and those three ways are as follows number one is sit with your emotions and process them 
Now, this can be messy and scary, but I can assure you that this is definitely worth it. Now, the reason for this is you can't really deal with something that you are not fully aware of or you don't understand. So, for you to deal with a certain emotion, let's say being tired, you have to understand why you are tired, what caused you to be tired. And from there, you will deal with it. Which leads us to number two. Two, identify your limits and your boundaries. Now, what's the difference between limits and boundaries? I think I can better explain this with an example. For example, my limit is I can work for eight hours straight every day. So after ng 8 hours na yon, bagsak na ako sa bed. As in zero na yung energy ko. Ganon. Now boundary is what I set before my limit. So like I said, for example lang, 8 hours straight yung kaya kong working hours. I will set a boundary na I will only work like 6 hours a day so that I will still have energy to reflect, unwind, and sit with my emotions at the end of the day. So the reason for this is since we are growing, since you are pursuing your growth and you want good change, ganon, you should do something. Hindi naman natatapos sa awareness yung, um, yung pag-deal natin sa sarili natin, right? So once you identify, set with your emotions and process them, syempre you have to do an action. And this is one of those things that you can do. So, identify your limits and set your boundaries. Third is look beyond. Now, I think I can better explain this through an example. So, for example, tapos ka na sa lahat ng modules mo. And then you lay in bed at night. But your mind is still working because you're still thinking about so many things. And thinking about certain things still requires energy. So, you're not actually resting. You just stop like physically doing something, but your mind is still very, very active. So when it comes to this certain things, na we worry about things that we can't control. Really, we can't do much about it. So for example, you worry about um mami meet ko ba yung mga friends ko or the graduate ba ba ako, mag ba ako sa PICC because that's what I think about sometimes. And you have so many questions that is beyond you. So you're gonna need a solution that is also beyond you. And what I do personally is I surrender it to someone who can deal with it. To someone who is actually in control. Kasi when I worry about these certain things naman eh, it, I won't gain control like there's really nothing that i can do so i surrender it to someone who knows the beginning and the end and that is god so i find true rest in knowing that god is in control it's the same message god is in control and i ask him to give me peace and rest not just physically, not just mentally, but emotionally and spiritually as well. Before I end this video, I just want to say that if you're watching this and you feel very tired, this video is not to invalidate what you are feeling. Because honestly, I'm also very, very tired. <laughs> but I just want you to know that there is a God who knows what you're feeling. And there is a God who understands what you're feeling. Who's always there. And who's always willing to listen. So, don't be too harsh on yourself. Don't um, push yourself to not feel anything. Kasi tao ka, hindi ka robot. And just live one day at a time we'll get through this things will get better and we'll see the sun shine brighter every single day hope this video finds you well and hope you learned a thing or two 
and see you guys in the next one.